Hi, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Trumi phone. Like the other products in the space, this phone is a Samsung device. The full price of the Trumi phone is $199.95, which is the same price as the Bark phone and the Pinwheel Slim option. Trumi also has a number of Kid Smart watches available. And Trumi does have a crazy deal going on right now. I'm not affiliated with Trumi. I just saw the promo on their website. So for the remainder of November of this year, parents can get a free Trumi phone while supplies last. And this is for new lines only. You can use code FREEA14 at checkout. First of all, thank you to Trumi for sending me this phone to review. I will actually be interviewing the CEO and co-founder of Trumi, Bill Brady, in a couple of weeks. I'm looking forward to talking with him about digital safety and how we can keep our kids safe while also easing them into the use of a phone. Right off the bat, Trumi wins the award for best presentation and boxing. I love the brand colors and the box. Honestly, it's a box I would use for storing small things uh, or for the kids to keep their little toys in. So cute. Welcome to Trumi. Peace of mind starts now. So like the Bark and the pinwheel phones that I've already reviewed, the Trumi phone is a Samsung device, specifically a Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. So the onboarding process for the Trumi phone was pretty simple. The SIM card is already installed. Uh, I just powered up the phone and logged into the parent portal. I connected to Wi-Fi and then I could activate the new number and get right into the parent portal to choose what I want my kid to have access to on the phone. Trumi phones feature the trademarked Kid Smart OS, which touts no pornography, no predators, no bullies, no social media or harmful games. You can graduate kids into more functionality based on needs and maturity. Uh, there's an option for a safe web browser. Teens can access safe apps for school and creativity, and parents can schedule their teens' access based on time of day. The Trumi phone gives parents access to approved contacts. They can track their child through GPS. You can approve apps, monitor texts, set time frames for apps, and vet those apps. So after poking around the Trumi parent portal, I found it to be similar to Pinwheel and Bark's parent portals, but slightly easier to navigate actually, a little easier to use, honestly. One difference I noticed is that the Pinwheel product has absolutely no internet browser. Trumi has what they call a kid smart web browser with the ability to safe list websites, which means you can choose certain websites you want your child to have access to. And anything else your child tries to access on the internet would be blocked except for the websites that you safe list. This offers protection from pornography, from predators and social media. Trumi's parent portal allows you to choose which Kid smart apps you want your kid to have access to. There looks to be a couple hundred apps to choose from, and categories are communication, education, entertainment, family, hobbies, mindfulness, music, fitness, tools, and then there's a section for everything else. I did notice that YouTube Kids is on there, which personally I don't love and I would not give my kid access to. I did do a deep dive into YouTube Kids in a recent podcast episode, and there's just a ton of inappropriate content on that platform and addictive features, so I recommend you listen to that podcast episode. But the good thing is that each parent can choose what apps they want their kid to have access to on this phone and any of these similar phone products. I do like that in the Trumi parent portal, under each app, you can get a very detailed description of what's available within the app. And they include a personalized note to parents from Trumi on what we should be considering before we add the app to our kids' phones. So when it comes to these kid safe, teen safe phones, I previously had preferred the pinwheel phone. I do like that that one has no access to internet browsers and no access to social media. The difference with Trumi is that while there's no access to social media, there is access to an internet browser. And like I said, parents get to choose specifically which websites your kid gets access to. And I think that will be important as your teenager gets older and needs to start using more of what's available online. So Trimmy might be a better phone for an older teen or a teenager that you want really to grow into the phone all the way through till they turn 18 and maybe wanna get a full blown smartphone. I actually asked Trumi to tell me, why are you better? What are your differentiators over pinwheel and bark phones? And here's what they said. Their plans are more affordable. They have real-time GPS functionality. They give your kid access to kid-friendly music and podcast stations. 
Trimi states that they have more regulation over the apps available through their kids smart technology. I do look forward to asking Bill Brady, the CEO of Trumi, about this kid smart technology and what that actually entails. And Trumi does have their kids safe web browser with safe listed websites that parents can choose. Once again, as with the other products in this space, this Trumi phone is marketed to kids. Their website says things like kids safe and kids smart. Personally, in my opinion, kids do not need a phone. Though I know that a lot of parents give their kids, not teens, their kids a phone. And so I understand a company needing to fill that demand. What I wanna challenge parents to do is really think critically about what happens when you give your kid a phone too soon. There are tons of studies that we need to be aware of that show the negative consequence of giving your kid a screen and allowing them to have access to excessive screen time too young. This can lead to developmental and speech delays. It can also negatively affect sensory motor development and academic outcomes. Excessive levels of screen use is actually changing the way our kids' brains are developing. Kids who use screens a lot have a thinner cortex than those who use screens less, which can make it harder for youth to process information and develop problem-solving skills. Excessive screen time is also altering the gray matter and white volumes in the brain, increasing the risk of mental disorders and impairing acquisition of memories and learning. Personally, I am not willing to allow my kids to have access to screens at the level where their brain is going to get affected negatively. I do see the clear need for teenagers to be introduced to phones in a safe environment. They're going to need to learn how to use a phone in a safe way as an adult. So it's our responsibility as parents to ease them into this in a safe way. With products like the Trumi phone or the pinwheel phone, we can help our teens ease into full-blown smartphone use and prepare them for adulthood. But I simply do not see the need for children to have access to a phone. I did find a blog on Trumi's website titled, When Should I Give My Child a Phone? There is some great research shared within that blog. For example, for children under six, they should be limited to one hour of screen time per day. And from ages six to nine, no more than two hours of screen time per day. And by these ages, these kids are already getting screen time within their classrooms. And so we have to factor that in and then giving them a device that's on their person on top of that other screen time and then whatever time they're watching TV in the home, the hours add up. And experts are actually advising parents to wait as long as possible to give your kid a phone. Yet Trumi in this article asks themselves, should kids have cell phones? And they answer yes. I look forward to talking with the CEO, Bill Brady, in a couple of weeks about their reasoning around this. A lot of parents want their kids to have a phone for an emergency situation. That way they can contact you if needed. I would come back to that with, aren't they always around a trusted adult or other family member that can get a hold of you? A lot of parents say that their kids need a phone because they need to coordinate pickups. Maybe they have after school activities that they're not sure exactly the time they need to pick them up. I would challenge that with your kids need a full blown phone in order to contact them. They have even more stripped down products like watches that allow your kid to call you and just call you. Not all of this other functionality that can distract your kid from other more important activities and educational experiences. I think that there's a way to accomplish a lot of these things without a phone device in a child's possession. To sum up, I do think that a Trumi phone is a great option for a teenager to ease them into using a full-blown smartphone before they're ready. I think it allows for digital safety and control on the parents end to know what their kids have access to and ensure that they are learning how to use a device in a safe environment. So if you guys want to learn more about the Trumi phone, just go to Trumi.com. And again, for the month of November, they have a free phone deal going on with code FREEA14. So go ahead and check that out. And thank you guys for watching today's review of the Trumi phone.